All right, uh, five seconds to the release of unemployment claims for the dollar. Let's see what unfolds. And it got released, I guess. Okay, Dixie going into its BC. Let's see what prints. Euro went down, up into the BC, so it's now um, technically re-delivery rebalanced. And once we leave this range, this should be acting as a um, balanced price range. But so far, being in the middle of the range, that's not very high probability. Because if you are stuck in a range, as you know, the ideal pattern to trade is after the eyes are taken or the lows are taken. So basically at the extremes. So this right here to me, this is 50-50. We are 50% 50 of the range and anything can happen. Now if I twist some stats into it, it's more likely that this high holds over this low because this happened earlier. But again, this is not enough. This is not enough to really have a big, big edge, like 70 plus. Which for some of you might not be big, but I mean, nobody has those. So we'll just wait. Not a super crazy reaction so far. Let's also pull up all the other charts bond market selling off as expected Dixie fully filling its BC right here it could be already enough for a move higher as it's filled it beautifully right there yep spectacular run some sell side attack that level and EG must be going crazy right now. Yep, because Euro is selling off. G is saying, nope, don't want to go lower. So at this point in here in Euro, let's uh, maybe pull this one up. This one, not too much shot, too much. So for Euro, using the session breaks, we have the, this is the low and this is the high. So should this one start going lower and lower and lower, I'm going to have to sell this one short. Even though I actually prefer the GBP USD shorts. Because we broke down very hard for the London session. This one stayed a little bit more in a consolidation. And I just prefer the ideal scenario is pop high for GBP, hit the busy consequent encroachment. So anything, as long as we stop within this range, everything is good. And we can spike higher with the wicks, don't care. Then break lower, and then for me, it's going to be an easy short to this low, this low, previous this low, and this one. If we have the move higher in here and we start breaking lower, and I can participate around, I don't know, 720, something like that, I will not be taking any partial until we are down here. So that's the plan. Let's see what unfolds. So far, this week has been rather chill. So, unemployment claims in here. It might be that we are not having the biggest of displacements, unless this number didn't even drop to be honest. No, exactly. The number is not that crazy. The difference between. Usually, there's more volatility when the number was like, what the hell? How did this even happen? But nothing crazy in that aspect. And I was saying that. The fact that Powell will speak later might have an impact. I, I didn't expect it. Uh, it. It made more sense in here. We had some nice volatility for the New York session and the London close yesterday. But this one is late for Forex. So I don't know. Let's see. So yes, going lower. Bonds. Uh, bonds a little bit uncertain. But as you can see, we can show this here. We went back into the imbalance right here, imbalance right here, 
And for ZB, the ideal scenario to me was run higher because it is the overall the strongest, purge this liquidity and then reject quickly and all the other while they retrace into Inferno, they will start leading, going very quickly to the downside and attack whatever needs to be attacked. Just like this return to the fair value gap in here, the others, what, what were they doing? This one was running previous fixed high. This one was retracing inside of the um, the CB. Others were running above the highs. High taken, high taken, and the sell off helped. Uh, and CT started leading the way. So this is what I had in mind. But nothing's going on. Now, if the narrative is correct and everything, these down candle in here that went into support should be the one that send us higher attacking this high and then after this high is there anything else to rebalance no so it's automatically this side that i would be looking for but we're not seeing that and i'm not a big fan of being a buyer of the order block like that i want to have the displacement of so this order block right here is much a is a way better one because we have the move lower into support, displacement comes back in, it's in a discount, hit it, and that's a beautiful OTE. The market is a little bit uncertain right here. This doesn't change the fact that I'm still looking for a move higher in you. It consequent encroachment, start bleeding. And this is my target. So I'm betting on the fact that GBP will actually have an outside day. Because previous day's eye has already been taken. Your GBP doing okay. Not the cleanest of price action, I must say. A little bit of a BC right here being hit. CB right here pretty much hidden. It's barely visible. On the M5, we have a much better perspective with this singular cl uh, down close candle which went with speed then tap 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 we're not moving away by side taken Oof. flush flush out i'm gonna pull this somewhere else Mm -hmm. Hitting again that for value gap which was filled here. Tap, 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 broke, higher. So let's see what happens there. And for Euro, this is a fairly straightforward OTE as well. So SMT at the, bo the bottom, run up, comes back in. Which one had the most dynamic displacement from the this low is more important than this low to me i'm taking the range 62 was hit there is the um h1 well bc and this is also a bullish order block right here so it looks like that euro wants to run for those eyes but again i'm gonna keep it the trend line so it's thin doesn't bo don't bother us. Hold on, did I copy? Yeah, like that. Hmm. This is what I had about trading view. It's never perfectly synced. Okay, while well, this one is retracing to internal, this took external. I mean, that was the perfect entry right there for Euro, but that was against my bias. All right. Mm 
Pretty slow. I wanted way more fireworks. Well, let's let's uh, analyze the framework right here. Move lower, hitting the auto block. Move lower, hitting the BC. Euro is relatively stronger. EG is confirming that Euro can actually be a buy. So let me pull the paper trading account. So I will execute. I don't know if there are trades in here. Yeah, some trades in the bond market. But I mean, it's them. Who cares? And let's try to get into a euro long till the buy side liquidity in here. See if that, if that makes sense. Well, not great, but not even terrible at the same time. Okay. this one here stop gonna be here for 7.5 pips sitting the other block right now and I'll be looking for a move higher to 100 okay 1.1.55 1. 1. R no commissions on trading view of course meaning that uh, that, oh, that would be a 1.5 R roughly speaking and there is an original consolidation right here, which I'm assuming that this move lower than here aggressively is the smart money reversal. We don't necessarily have SMT in here with G with Tixi, but we do have with GU running lower while this one is failing to do so. So the trade idea is not a bad, bad one. It's okay. see the nice rejection away and now Dixie is going all the way back higher into this inversion for value gap which we now closed through so it's reclaimed and we're also going through the this H1 busy closure right here so now it looks like we're closing through it we don't know yet because depending on the PDA that I'm looking for if it's on the H1 I want to see an H1 close and then the very next one, H1 close, doesn't have to close back into it, otherwise it's bad. And now, you can see these lows right here. The only thing that might stop this price action going actually there, it's this um, BC formation. But let's see. <laughs> so if this goes and takes the highs up here that would be the highest high formed in the London Open okay GU would have to go up here so that's a time or range based SMT so when this one is hit if it's ever hit of course and this one hits this level and then GU starts going lower that's me going to participate with the live account. Right now, I'm just playing around because this doesn't satisfy my risk parameters for this trade. I don't see any M5 value gap that I'm comfortable with. I'm fading a range, which I know, statistically speaking, holds the majority of the times. Mm, not super convinced. Right. This is beginning to spool a bit. That was, I mean, hmm. my broker, this one in here, was an immediate rebalance, which wasn't on FXCM. Well, it doesn't make much of a difference, but look what Chu is doing. We have a swing low, lower, up candle in the middle. It's rebalancing up to the breaker in here, hitting it. And this candle right here went through the CB. So on the move lower here, it's rebalancing inside of this range. So we have the up, down, leave the range move. This is now balanced and it's gonna be potentially balanced until we hit another PDA up here 
which will make change that will make the delivery change so this range up down leave it's balanced it is this one and it starts bleeding this range should be completely skipped so it's only good till they move up here and that alone is a scalp for 10 to 15 pips Okay, look where Dixie is at. Now, for this PPR, CP, up, down, leave, come back down, it's the same concept right here. Now, this one looks like it's failing because after it was good up to this level where there was the auto block. The auto block is it, this level is deactivated. So yes, it shouldn't be working now. Moves lower, and the slow bleed should bring us to the lows. I'm thinking about it. Since previous days I was not taking, and we have this clean equal eyes, I could be pushing my saw my CP up there to be honest, at around 160 then take a good partial up here because that level has not yet been engaged but that's a little bit riskier because if GU hits this level then also Euro might actually to might actually want to rotate but again you can see how much time how much time I've been talking about it and it only moved 4.4 pips <laughs> pretty slow That's why this live stream like this can be very, very boring. I don't have anything to discuss other than, look, Dixie popped to the low, Euro to the eye, the immediate rebalance, we could be seeing higher prices. That's basically tape reading. But <laughs> on the M5 is not as active as the M1, so you know what, let's go into the M1, and we can see how each and every PDA on the M1 in sync with the M5 and the bigger picture of the market. Oh, two consecutive down candles, auto block, for value gap, hits that. Move low with an ear, what is it retracing to? Well, nothing specifically, unless you can see that all of these down candles are, are the auto block, but it could be also a mitigation block up here. Low to high, this low doesn't go lower, mitigation block here. But in reality, for me, it's the M5 immediate rebalance right here. Or this CB goes all the way up 
comes back down, it's rebalancing this low, hits it, pong, and now here it goes. Not the greatest price action, I won't be lying. Lots of patience needed. So I, dis I talked about how this level in here could have been a little bit of an issue and so far it looks like it's being one. But I'm not seeing price completely reversing this move. I'm thinking it's gonna get for this down, down ca up candle in here and the same thing, the down candle in here it comes back there. I'm expecting again higher prices. But this is, hmm, a tricky market condition because one might say okay if my bullish PDA fails I'm gonna go short correct okay but there are times in the marketplace where nothing works because the market is aimless doesn't it's not looking for any specific specific <laughs> specific liquidity pool so it's just staying there in a range all the time and if you are participating in that level of time distortion, good luck to you. Good luck, you will get many losses. Do I ever get stuck in those conditions? Yes. How do they solve the issue? I can't solve the issue. What I can do is, I um, if you have a maximum limit, whether it's monetary in percentage in R or in terms of number of trades, the days where you are stuck in those conditions, which they're not very, very frequent, you will just take the losses and move on. And your equity curve might suffer, but it's gonna be a small decline compared uh, to you not having any limits and keep pressing, pressing, and pressing, and pressing. At that point, you can really do damage to the account. So you can see how in here, Although it's demo, so it's uh, no, I have no emotions in it. I, don't, I couldn't care less. In live trading, there is always, always some level of emotion. Emotion, like it's, I don't, don't trust the people that say, oh, but you gotta trade like a robot. You don't, you emotions are useless. No, 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 emotions are human. There's nothing you can do about it. So when I was well in profit, and it came back down. You want, oh my god, this trade is not working out, it's not good, I knew it, oh look, it's reversing, oh look, it took this high and dropped, but then, when we are logical about it, what does have this high that it's so special? Correct, absolutely nothing. So, can the market actually reverse from this level? Yeah, but it's not very likely. So, if you take the same trade 55 times, 100 times, there might be five instances where this actually stops the market, goes low and stops you out. Do you want to improve that? No, don't improve that. Because if it's something that only happens 10% of the times, but it's uh, overall this logic as positive expected value, you playing around with it, it's the end. Because you might say, okay, when it's closing like this, where there is only a week, and then it comes back in and then it drops when I collapse my trade. That logic might work, but it should be working best in swings that actually are meaningful. This swing right here in the middle of nothing is not meaningful. 
this high in here is more meaningful because it's a session high. So oh, I was clear there. And notice how we went down. And see, we hit the level. We came all the way back down. We hit the level again. And now we're selling off. So me trailing the stop and being all scared was a big, big risk in here. Because I would have been stopped out. And then I would be 780 down. Why down? Because right now I can, I can collapse my trade and actually grab this. So I would be losing a good edge. Or 1R, because the risk is 7.5, I'm roughly there. Right. Is there any particular news for later? Well, there is Lagarde speaking at 12.30, but it's not so important to me. Oh, crap. What did they do? Today's Thursday, 30-year bond auction. No, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, this doesn't mean we cannot have volatility. Later. For whatever reason. We don't always need a reason for volatility. Sometimes it's the market ready just to go. Okay, let me check if in the live account I have any limits. No, I don't. Good. And uh, for some of you, this question might pop. It might be, oh, but why are you trading here <clears throat> instead of trading with the live account since you are able to catch this move? I don't like this move. It's, it doesn't fit my risk parameters. And I don't have fixed risk parameters in the sense of, you want, I want to participate in this. I don't want to participate in that. It's just visually speaking, I don't like it. It's not, I don't have enough confidence on this trade. And you might say, oh yeah, but confidence, how can you uh, quantify that? Um, I guess it's experience. I guess it's just experience. And the also simple things as, okay, was this a good buy? Um, yeah, but the way it's holding in here, mm, not so great. The way I'm attacking this eye, not so great. The thing, I, the fact that I'm GBP USD bearish, cause I wanna see this level being hit for, for this week or the very beginning of next week, doesn't make me a very strong bear, a bullish guy on Euro USD. So you could have played the relative strength, sure. Cause as this one was dropping, and coming back in, there was a buy up here roughly at 9.15, 9.20, which was around the consequent encroachment of this PC, and everything was fine and well. Cause, and then the same thing, since I'm expecting a bigger, larger move to the downside, and I might be wrong, I want to see Euro, the strong one, take the external, and Jew, the weak one, go to internal. That to me can unlock a bigger move to the downside. And then since it's in sync with my, uh, my, with my bias for the intraday session or for the daily chart, then I am more inclined to take this one with real, real risk. Because on the daily, we went into this CB formed here within this range. We basically skipped 75 by a little bit and then we started moving lower, okay? So here's the reasoning behind. And this portion up here, this level and this level, there is a breaker in between, low, lower, low up candle here. But we are not having so much of the nice explosiveness because we hit it, we came back up, we hit a premium, we sold off again. That to me is not super bullish. So I'm expecting a full closure. Okay. And since this is overall a scalp, I'm gonna gladly take 90% off in here, which I'm gonna do, oh well, that's the wrong button, like that. Okay. 
and now that it's very close to the liquidity pool I can really move my stop down here you can enable this one okay the low is down there it's just looking that for SMTs Checking other charts, not that I'm hiding something specifically. So this is what I mean. Low resistance, liquidity run conditions have the market go to the liquidity very quickly without this much back and forth all the time. And it's exactly what's happening right here. It's slow, it's lethargic, it's giving retracement that make little to no sense and low resistance is something like this we hit a level we start quickly moving discount PDAs are completely broken and on the other side of the curve study this high we breach it we open the next candle we go up into the high we immediately reject and then we attack the liquidity aggressively boom, 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 boom. In here, since it's counter trend, this high might be taken by one pip, if not less, and then reverse. And that again is not so great, that's why I'm willing to take 90% off right there. But let's see. Scanning the bond market. Um, not much to discuss a little bit of m5 bearish smts here and there but nothing too like obvious and this is retracing mm -hmm. Uh, you know what let me try the approach of doing nothing to this trade idea okay so i'm going to be placing the stop right where it was which i think was here yeah so i want to show you why i don't i don't subscribe to the um take your trade and do nothing with it so I never move the stop it's either break even it's either stop loss or take profit now i can see that happening here because if Jiu really wants to reach this level, then this for value gap and this breaker play should be holding. So let me highlight that one specifically. Till, I don't know, 10, something like that. Maybe even improve the coloring. Like that. All right. Make it thicker. So, So while this one goes into the fair value gap, this can stay within the range from the here. And this range from here has a little bit of a gap as well, the, the PC. So let's do this game where I just take 50%. I just elongate it a little bit, make it only visible on the M5. The fair value gap formed this from 1 to 0 0.5 which I can do also like that maybe even invert it reverse so a move lower inside of this gap in here is permissible but I'd rather not see a move going to the 50% over here it's okay Lower than that, uh, not so good. But we are seeing already a good positive rejection at this full closure. And we gotta consider this too as a down close candle of one or two minutes. So this, the mean threshold is again this. So I close below the mean threshold wouldn't be necessarily good. On the M1, it can happen. It's less of a precise time frame. You can say what you want. I'm not buying into that M1 is as fractal as the others. It's just M1 is a little bit crazier. But concept overall kind of apply. 
So I'll go back here. Let me peep the M15. Okay. Mm -hmm. You hit the level, but it didn't dig into it and then started moving, just barely touched it. Well, on the M15 it's a little bit better, so we're gonna stick to that one. Always stick to the higher time frame first, and then refine into the lower ones. Never the opposite. All right, you know what I'm, what I'm thinking? Since Dix is in this overall consolidation, I'm, I'm sure there's, there must be some Euro against the Australian dollar which is trending nicely. So let's look at that as Euro GBP is trending nicely. Not even that, that's crazy. I wonder what these are doing. Look at the Ah, look at these bodies. Small, small, small. This is a signal the market doesn't know what it's doing, doesn't know want, what it wants to do. And trading in this, good luck. You are in the middle of nothing. You are in this range, from this low to this high, in a premium, so being a buyer here is risky, but the opportunities might arise when we have a drop that goes into some level of discount and then this lagging error should be the explosive one at least to this high and I honestly like this idea of displacement consolidation drop smart money reversal run that's why I always want to see some level of consolidation after a big displacement because that's building the liquidity necessary for then having the move lower when it moves lower, the liquidity will, will be built up in here. There's going to be some level of discount in here or inversion gap. And I can see them move higher. And then I go left. Okay, this high can be taken. Nothing to rebalance in here. Go left. This, this is mostly balanced. Don't care about this one. Then I see the high. All right. And I can take it till up there. Wow, impressive. Hmm. Imagine is swearing it this much for a ten pip mover <laughs> with news release too. That's the beauty. We're having some bank holiday price action right here. And maybe it's the time. Oh my god, it's going. Go Euro win. Euro GBP. Again, it is moving nicely higher. 
lots of levels which got completely breached inversion gap working wonderfully taking out the stops hitting the consequent encroachment are these equal lows no this candle i completely remove i don't i don't trust this candle it's formed at 17 don't care so inversion gap consequent encroachment plus consequent encroachment of the daily bc which got reclaimed study how consolidations form at these levels consolidation once we break trending we come back into it consolidation we come back after price act acceptance appear consolidation drop we build the buy side we run it call it macros call it uh, price behavior call it market maker buy model sell model generic price action signatures this liquidity in here is not built until we move away because people we start people traders whatever they will start chasing this pr price here when it starts moving quickly and then they will place their buy side liquidity here because if they are selling short to close their position they have to be buyers up here so boom, 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 boom. then we stop we start uh, accumulating boom 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 and then displacement confirmation okay we know what it's what it's going now this high to this low is not an ot because we are moving away from a daily level so the h1cb should be doing anything but stop us and you can see how each and every single level we come back in we drop we use this level we pop this level in here we go all the way back higher we fill it we come back down we rebalance it go higher this cb in here we go higher we come back in bc cb we go higher and then we leave that range we have low to high displacement is nice moves lower all of the consecutive down candles in here plus this candle skip it and we have an imbalance in here both is respecting that weeks two do you not like the idea of removing this step one time frame higher and you should be able to see it a little bit better so the very last down candle before the move that's the order block and i'm using this high up here and not this candle right here because they're the same level so this one is also beefier and this is the candle that went into the support of the consequent encroachment of this imbalance we pop and this is a decent move i mean very slow in uh, but it's short in pips, I mean, six pips, whatever. Okay. M15 BC doing its business. Here, it's helping Euro go a little bit higher. We reached for consequent encroachment of that week. Here, not beyond that. And we went into the order block right there. If I take this high to this low, you can see that the mean threshold actually the bodies the mean threshold was breached a little bit does that invalidate my trade on the m15 it can on the m5 maybe on the m1 absolutely not that's a fa false signal that's just a little bit of extra volatility and having a difference of 0 0.4 pips is not what makes my trade or breaks my trade if i was trading like that ah the amount of stress would be nuts because you are constantly evaluating oh did this close perfectly oh no it didn't oh no if there's not in control collapse the trade and then it runs <laughs> i don't want to trade like that that's reactionary trading i want to predict what price will do and if the price action is showing me that my idea might be correct then i will engage So, ready to close the position as soon as that high is. So, this high is 97. Oh, well. I always forget I can do stuff like this. Let's try to get an exit at 100. Nice delay, trading view. Now, statistically, it should be one tick higher. But, I mean, 
I like round numbers when I can. Makes my trading a little my trading a little bit more clean and when I have to input in the journal, I can say the round number. <laughs> At least for stop loss and exits. I cannot do that of course if I there is a market entry is I have a 10% 10, 10 chance of actually getting the round number <laughs> at actually at zero. All right. And we got it. Congratulations to us. Mark is accelerating a little bit now. Good to see, good to see. And even if we didn't have the notion of the consequent encroachment of this week or the CB in here, no problem. Because you could have justified this move higher by just looking at the correlated asset being GBP actually going for its discount. So this one going into discount, this tiny, tiny bit of move here will unlock a potentially bigger move for Euro. Now, this is where my stop is trailed very aggressively, like this is good, 30. Rejection in here, no bueno, not good. And GBP is hitting that, inside of this breaker, is hitting that level and this one took the external. So now I have to close, to pay close attention. I'm gonna have to stop the video, because if I'm trading live I need to focus and Hopefully you enjoyed this video, you saw how stress-free stress sometimes trading can be when you don't overanalyze and do too many things all the time on the M1, M5, back and forth, back and forth. It's generic price action behaviors. We hit this level, we go higher, this goes higher, this is stronger, goes to external, this is weaker, goes to internal, there is a break in here, what are the odds of this high being taken? Not very high. What are the odds of this high being taken that now that this flow is formed and we have a move away, higher surely than this one right here? And you just build a narrative like this. So, see you guys for the next video and see ya, trade safe, bye bye.